bill that would have required a financial literacy class for public high school students to graduate died in the state legislature this week. But not having a formal course isn't stopping some parents from giving their kids lessons in money management. For parents like Paige Shimamoto, teaching her children how to manage money was about keeping them from spending too much of hers. I got tired of the boys constantly using my credit card to get extra lives on their gaming system. As they get older, they're going to need to learn to budget their own money and kind of having that free-for-all parent credit card with no limitations wasn't teaching them anything. So she did some research and found companies that offered debit cards to kids and allowed parents to manage allowances and spending through apps. Shimamoto has been using one called Busy Kid for a couple years. Yeah, I could pay them for chores. Um, I would be able to monitor what they spend on, um, you know, make their purchases. And then you're always notified through the app, um, either via email or text message that they're going to spend something or they want they completed their chores the boys had mixed reactions to getting their own credit cards Kyler is 14 he appreciated the independence before if I wanted to buy something online and I would have to get my cash and then give it to my mom and ask her to use her credit card to buy online but now if since I'm my own I can just buy it 12 year old Carter got a harsher lesson if you don't have enough money on it then it just says declined Things are so much different now than it was, you know, 20, 30 years ago um, that I think it, it is more important these days because everything's digital and, you know, quick access and it's not like, okay, balance my checkbook, how much money do I have, can I afford this? It's more like, oh, here's my credit card, buy it, and then when the bill comes, oh, how am I going to pay for it? Don't spend what you don't have and save for what you want. A few of the valuable lessons Shimamoto says kids don't get in school, but should. And I'm doing the same thing with my own kids. The app I use is Greenlight, so there's a lot of ways to teach your kids at home. Meantime, Senator Michelle Kidani, who introduced this bill requiring financial literacy for kids, said in a statement to KITV4 that the Department of Education needs to act upon the findings of the Senate's Financial Literacy Task Force to combat Hawaii's low high school financial literacy rate in the nation.